सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल्स और इस वीडियो में हम लोग पढ़ेंगे वट एवर द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन हो सकते हैं स्ट्रिंग्स रिलेटेड वो सारे इसमें हम कवर करेंगे ओके सो मान लो लेट से अगर तुमसे इंटरव्यूअर बोल देता है हे प्रिंस वट इज ए स्ट्रिंग सो सिंपल तुम बोल सकते हो कि ए स्ट्रिंग इज ए कलेक्शन ऑफ या सिक्वेंस ऑफ करेक्टर वट वी कैन से A string is a collection of a string is a collection collection over sequence of character character in java that is called string string simple definition you don't want to tell any other things okay then might be interviewer ask you ओके आई अंडरस्टूड वट इज द स्ट्रिंग बट कैन यू टेल मी बट कैन यू टेल मी हाउ मेनी वे टू क्रिएट ए स्ट्रिंग ऑब्जेक्ट इन जावा सो यू कैन से यू कैन क्रिएट ए ऑब्जेक्ट इन जावा फॉर द स्ट्रिंग इन टू वे वन इज स्ट्रिंग लिटरल वन इज लिटरल Literal means what? Literal means what? Like if you create a, a string object like that, a string s equal to directly put it the data inside is, then you can say this is the string literals. And one more way to create a object of the string like with the new keyboard, string s equal to new string, and you can pass the data inside this. So that is called. through the new keyboard so simple you can say you can create a of string object in the two way one is literal and one is through the new object okay he understood next maybe he ask the next question is okay can you tell me can you tell me uh, what is the string constant pool yeah might be he ask like uh, If you create a two object with the literals with the same name, then what will happen? What is the string constant pool? So a string constant pool is nothing but it is a one particular memory area in our heap area. Okay, in heap memory, having a one particular area which is nothing but a string constant pool. and whenever you create a object with the literal focus literal if you create a object like that for example a equal to double quote abc so this object will go and store inside the string constant pool and again if you create any object b equal to double quote a b c means with the same data right. then it will not create again new object it will give the previous object reference to b that is called a string constant pool simple okay he tell okay so where is the string constant pool in the heap memory area so whenever you create a string object with the literals it will go and store inside the string constant pool the string constant pool is available inside the heap memory area okay interviewer will understood then he will ask next question okay prince can you tell me why string is a immutable yeah what is immutable what is immutable simple what is immutable what is immutable and what is mutable it's a questions it's a very very important questions in uh, a string immutable Okay, I hope you understood. 
so what is the immutable immutable means if you create a object of a string if you create a object of a string and later if you try to modify those string then it will create new object for that that is called our string or our class is immutable so if you interviewer ask you okay hey prince why a string is immutable okay so you have to tell simply uh, if you create a object of a string and try to modify it then it it will create new object it will not append it will not modify our append existing object that's it interviewer will understood okay you have a good idea about it okay so what is the mutable he will ask so you tell what is the immutable but he will ask what is the immutable so mutable means once you create the object you can you can modify the object you can do something operation to modify the object so that that class or that object is nothing but mutable object for example the string alternate having a two classes which is a string buffer or a string builder those are mutable classes so if you create a object of string buffer string builder then you can modify it but if you create a object of a string you can't modify it every time it will create new object so like that we have to understood okay so maybe interviewer will ask you he will give you some scenario okay i have created one object another object uh, and uh, he used some method like uh, in a string he created one abc and he tried to uh, add like a dot concat so we have a one concat method he tried to concat with b a concat with b and he will tell you if i print s out what is the output what is the output why i am telling those things is because i already face those challenges and inside the interview so interviewer generally ask those like that questions like okay we have a two string above abc and below having a one string b equal to abc so for example if i create i if i add one method like a dot concat with b and i will print finally a then what is the output so if you are creating a object of a string and both are a string so it will not concat it it will not concat it because a will not modify anyhow a will not modify so if you print the a it will give only a b c that's it it will not give two time abc it will just give one time abc because you concatenated it it's fine but it will return another object if you store those object a string c equal to a dot concatenate of b then only you can able to print this object c which is abc abc two times so make sure in interview you never tell this line will give you a is abc abc otherwise interviewer will understood you don't have a idea about concatenate method or you don't had have a idea about string is mutable immutable or not next question is very very important if interviewer told you 
hey prince can you create one class which is uh, immutable can we create our own class which is immutable so if you tell him yes we can create then he will definitely ask you can you tell me how you can create it okay so definitely he will tell you okay can you create for me one class which is immutable so just you have to write like that i will tell you for example we have to write on class so i will write on class class and class should be final okay so you have to mention here final class final so that other people will not extend it like whatever the child will extend he will not uh, able to extend our class because it's a immutable so we have to make the class as a final class and i will give the class name like uh, test immutable okay and uh, inside this class whatever the variable i will declare whatever the variable i will declare for example i will create one variables and variables also should be variables also should be what statics okay variable should be statics and what we can do is for example i will create one variables and i will declare it and i will try to initialize inside this constructors okay so what can i do we need to make our variable as a final so i will create private final data a string type of variables we can create our uh, we can create some other type of data also it's fine so a string and we have to create one variable called data okay and uh, create one constructor which is able to initialize it so this is the class so here you can write this class take the parameter string s and whatever he pass inside this string you need to take it and you have to write this dot data equal to s okay so you are able to initialize those string and whenever he want to modify it yeah he want to access those data that time you have to send the copy of data only through the clone for example you want to get those data so you can create public publics return a string of data and uh, get data you can create one methods and inside this methods whenever return our on object return you have to write you have to write data dot clone c l o n e c l o n e clone methods so that every time he will return duplicate of the data he will not give the actual yeah. data if you give the actual data then other people will able to modify it but if you give the duplicate data copy of data then he can't modify it so through that you can achieve immutable class okay so whenever interviewer ask you can you create a immutable class for me then you have to tell we can create a immutable class like we have to made our class as a finals and whatever the variable you declare inside this you have to create as a finals and in slice those variable inside the constructors and provide the one method through that he can access those data so like that we can create our immutable class i hope you understood 
about uh, a string interview questions and those are very important which i explain you and uh, if you remember it definitely you can cra crack the interview whatever the interview question he asked related to the string thank you so much watch my video and don't forget to subscribe my channels thank you so much